In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can use H2X to accurately and easily design a gas system. There's five key steps involved, and the first one is adding a flow source to your design. So the flow source is usually located around the gas meter or on the utility main. Wherever you locate it, you can give it a name, enter in the available pressure, and then enter in the height. The next step is to add appliances to your design. So you can choose the appliance from the toolbar and locate it where you want it to be. Once again, you can add a name, you can change the height above the floor. The inlet pressure is very important, but we will come back to that shortly. The flow rate is also very important for the pipe sizing, and you can choose to enter the diversity too. And you can follow the exact same process for any other appliances that you want to add to your design. Next, we're going to be drawing pipes and connecting everything together. This is very similar to using polylines. One key difference though is that you can change the pipe height as you draw. So you can see that using the arrows on my keyboard, the height went from one meter below the ground to one meter above the ground as it went into the gas meter room. You can also choose different line types to resemble different pipe heights, so it's going from a dashed line to a solid line. The last part of the design is to add valves. So things such as isolation valves will add frictional losses to your design, so as you add them, it's going to contribute to the index length. Earlier we saw that we didn't change the inlet pressure, and that's because we can now set it at the gas regulator. In the properties here, we can choose the outlet pressure, such as 21 millibar, and then we can choose what pressure we want at all the appliances downstream, which chooses 20 millibar, and we can go around adding meters and other things to the design. And the last thing to do now is to check the results. So in a matter of seconds, all the calculations are automated, and we can now see all the pipe diameters showing. If you want to see more technical details like the flow rates and the velocities, you can choose to turn those on as well. Very quick overview, but if you'd like to use H2X on your next gas design, please get in touch with us at h2xengineering.com.